Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how I cleared up my skin. Now a few months ago during GCC my skin got really bad, probably because of stress, but I had I started getting really bad acne. So I'm just going to show you today some products that I got that helped to get me clearer skin. Now I'm not saying my skin is completely clear now, it's definitely not, I do get spots, but if I compare it to a few months ago it's definitely so much better. So I'm not someone who's struggled with skin problems all their life, but I'd say in around year eight probably I started getting spots, and especially on my chin, um, and I still have chin ones now, I can't really get rid of them. It didn't really bother me too much, but when I got to year 11 and started my exams, I was breaking out really badly and it really started to bother me because obviously I care what other people think. When my skin started getting bad, I started to buy a lot of products online and pay a lot of money for them, thinking that it would help clear my skin. It didn't. If anything, it made it worse. One of the things I bought was this salicylic acid. Salicylic. I don't know how you say that. I think I bought this from the Pretty Little Thing website, I think, the skincare section. And obviously it said, oh, it'll clear your spots, get rid of blemishes. No, it's literally acid. It made, like, look at this. So this is what I've got. And it's just this white gel and I used it once it made my spots a hundred times worse like bright red they were already red but this like just made them inflamed so I definitely recommend not buying stuff off the internet so after I tried loads of things off the internet I decided I'll just go to the pharmacy I went to see the pharmacist and they advised me what skincare things to use they like had a look at my face and said you know recommended some things so they gave me a skin cleanser and also a spot gel so I'll show you the skin cleanser. So it's the Clean and Clear Deep Cleansing Lotion. It's like this. A lot of people probably use this or maybe use their blackhead scrub. It's quite a common um, product. But the pharmacist rec recommended this and you use it twice a day on your skin. I use it once in the morning and once before I go to bed. And honestly, it is so good. It gets rid of all the oil of my skin and my skin has been so much clearer since I've been using this. Um, one thing I'd say, don't overuse it because your skin will become sort of, you know, immune to it. This is definitely a very good product. I'd definitely recommend this. I'll put the link in the description. And then they recommended me this Freedom Spot Gel. Now, I think a lot of people get recommended different spot gels, but this one has worked really well for me. Yeah, it's just this sort of clear fluid. And basically what it does is you put it over um, areas where you have spots. You don't put it over areas where you don't have spots. So you just put a little bit over the spot and it basically dries over the spot and it treats it underneath. It targets the spot very well. It's definitely cleared up a lot of my chin spots and I've really struggled to get rid of those. So yeah, this is very good. Also, I use this twice a day with the skin cleanser. So basically I'll cleanse my face and then I'll put this over my problem areas. Now, both of these are on the expensive side I would say, especially the Freedom because it's only, it's a really small tube, it's literally 10 grams but I'll put the link in the description, I'm not sure how much it costs but it's at least £3 but I'd definitely say it's worth it, it definitely worked really well and if you use it in moderation it lasts quite a long time so these two products are my go-to I'm not saying I have clear skin but if I compare it to a few months ago it is a million times better and I couldn't be happier now obviously different products will work for different people but these two have worked amazingly for me. So if you have skin problems, I'll recommend going to a pharmacist rather than buying stuff online because all the stuff I bought does not work, it just makes them worse. So I hope this video helped out some people in some way and thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!